Hi, it's Cam Burr here. The WHO identifies the next pandemic. Guess what it is? According to an article published late last month in Politico Online, the Assistant Secretary for Global Affairs from Health and Human Services for the U.S., Lois Pace, was in Geneva meeting with the WHO about a potential treaty to help lay the framework for an international response to the next pandemic. Plus, the good folks at the WHO have already identified the next pandemic. They must be like clairvoyant or something. And you'll never guess what it is. Come on, you can do it. I'll give you a couple of guesses. All right, time's up. Equity. That's right, folks. It's equity, our next pandemic. It's clear to us that an important question that needs to be addressed through any instrument is the question of equity. How that happens, the approach we take, is something that we need to discuss with member states starting tomorrow, Pace said. Currently, however, the WHO is coordinating an all-out effort to forge an international treaty solidifying an international vaccine passport system hmm. and giving the WH more power during a pandemic. You don't say. I, for one, cannot imagine how that could go south, especially with all our crack team of experts in charge can you? I mean, after all, they've just done a wonder bar job over the last two years. It's another move by globalists. You know, the Klaus Schwab kind and his WEF ilk. You'll never believe it, but bad tech. Now, I've decided to ditch the term big tech and go with either bad tech or good tech instead. So bad tech is super interested in all these giant vaccine passport proposals because they want the lucrative data processing contracts, which would be enormously rewarding for them. No kidding. How can you blame them? Nothing like fleecing those taxpayers over and over and over again. Now, as Canadians, no need to feel bad, as taxpayers globally would be subjected to this shakedown by these grifters, as each country would have to build out its own tech infrastructure. So what do you do? Simple. As the old AT&T commercial said, reach out and touch someone. And in this case, it's your MP and senators. Tell them we are a sovereign nation. And as such, we don't want our country submitting to the whim of a bunch of grifters we didn't hire, such as the WHO. After all, if we're going to get screwed over, it's only proper that elected Canadian civil servants do it. Eh? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate all you new subscribers. Uh, please post any comments you might have. You can also follow me on my locals. It's cambrar.locals.com and I will see you next time.